Now the next subject we have here is Environmental Studies, EVS, Environmental Studies for Paper 1 or LP section. So here, EVS is also for 30 marks. This EVS syllabus is designed to assess the knowledge, skills and pedagogical competencies of aspiring lower primary teacher candidates in environmental studies. It emphasizes understanding foundational concepts of EVS, connecting them to daily life and fostering a sense of environmental responsibility. All right. So key competencies. The EVS syllabus aims to ensure teacher candidates demonstrate knowledge and understanding of the nature, scope and importance of EVS at the elementary level, apply learning objectives of EVS as outlined in the NCF 2005, emphasizing the integration of EVS with daily life, use a variety of approaches to teaching learning EVS, including observation, then activities, group work and field visits, design and apply assessment methods to evaluate students progress effectively in EVS, utilize diverse teaching learning resources, including local materials and multimedia to enhance student understanding, analyze and teach concepts related to natural resources, biodiversity and sustainable practices with a focus on Meghalaya's unique environmental culture. So now let us proceed to the actual syllabus of EVS. And the first unit is introduction to EVS and under introduction to EVS we have nature, scope and importance of EVS at the elementary level. Then we have relationship of EVS with science and social science. Then we have environmental studies and environmental education. In unit 2 we have learning objectives. Under learning objectives we have aims and objectives of teaching EVS with reference to NCF 2005. Then unit 3 we have approaches to teaching learning EVS. And un then in unit 3, we have approaches to teaching learning EVS. And under teaching learning EVS, we have observation, activities, discussions, group work, field visits, projects, surveys, and experimentation. Then in unit 4, we have assessment in EVS. Under assessment in EVS, we have types, purpose, tools, and techniques of assessment in EVS. Then we have unit 5. Teaching learning, then we have unit 5, learning teaching resources, then we have unit 5, learning teaching resources, local resources, local resource materials, example newspapers, films, photographs, collections such as seeds, leaves, stamps, stones and local maps. Then unit 6, we have natural resources, air, water, soil and their conservation, plants and animals, plants and animals, their significance in the environment, food, types and importance of healthy food, things around us, public properties and their importance, biodiversity, concepts, causes of laws and conservation, then Meghalaya physical features, vegetation, climate, wildlife, origin and life of Khasis and Garos and the occupation. Then the last unit, unit 7, we have environmental conservation. So pollution, causes of pollution, types of pollution like air, water, land, industrial, radioactive noise and sustainable practices. All right. So in order to find the notes of this syllabus, you can refer to DLED curriculum Meghalaya 2015, DERT government of Meghalaya Shillong or not or and embossed textbook of classes three to five and source book and assessment in EVS and CERT. So these are the study materials you can use in order to study these EVS syllabus.